welcome back. Random TV reviews, your girl and that. And it's your boy, Stan Lab. All right, coming in with Queen Sugar. I, we were trying to figure <laughs> out was this like the finale mid season? What we know, we don't know, but we'll figure we it out. Yeah, yeah. We we're not gonna go on order. We're just gonna hit some people out and you know bust them open and yeah. let them go. Okay, Nova. Nova has turned in a rough draft of her book. Her girlfriend was like, you know what? This is good. Real good. Yeah. Best writing I've ever seen you do. But, um, have you gotten written consent to put all of these details in this here book? Because I know your family. Like, you know your family. Hmm. They ain't cool with all the information nope. that you're putting in this book. She was like, well, they sat there and they did the interviews. These are the words that they gave me. No, they haven't read it. You know, so I don't have their consent, but everything that we t that's in the book has been discussed. I'm sitting here like Nova. So you done already done been down this road? On oh, Vi already got you about your daddy. So I'm like, okay. Huh? I, I don't I don't know, it's not gonna end well for you, but the way that we see it is she's gonna continue doing it Nova's way. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's that's cool. Yeah, as long as you're willing to pay the price for doing it your way. Yeah. So then we see a scene where I said, oh, Lord, that <clears throat> robbery done caught up with um, Ralph Angel. Lord have mercy, the robbery. Cause yeah. For some reason, I still think that's going to come back up. We see him walking through the prison, but this time he's actually going in there and he's actually giving a word of encouragement to prisoners, letting them know that what you're going to face when you come out of here, you're going to go through this, uh, where you're going to still feel trapped, worthless. Mm -hmm. Institutionalized. Like, yeah, so... He said, you know, thank God that my father, when he passed away, he gave me a legacy. He gave me the land, something that I could look at and say, you know, that's me. I did yeah. this. And basically <clears throat> he was telling them, if you don't find a purpose, when you leave these walls, you're going to come back in here. Yeah. And my goal is to be that shoulder that you can lean on to encourage you to continue to do right. Even yeah. if you don't have the backing of your family like I have. So I thought that was pretty good. But this is the part that's been getting to me. And we were talking about this off um, camera. His parole officer. It seems like the more Rob, Rob gives, uh -huh. the more, the more he, he wants. wants. Yeah. And now that Rob actually got clearance to get off of um, parole within a month. Homeboy was like, you know, I would like for you to do this, that, and the third. And Ralph was like, I got a lot going on. You know the, more, the man got a lot going on. Mm -hmm. You don't been down there to the phone. Yep. You, know, you don't actually brought somebody down there for him to employ. You yeah. know this man got a lot going on, but you still trying to put more on his plate. Yeah, and I see it from both sides. I, I, be, I believe that the, his, his motives appear. He want to help out the brothers. But he can't do but so much. So you need to kind of sprinkle that responsibility around some other people that have got out of jail. I know that's doing something, Yeah, <laughs> that's doing something with himself. It's good that he's hiring people on the farm, you know, getting out. Because I know when you get out of prison, it's hard to get a job. So he is doing that. But as far as being going strong into that mentoring like that, I'm not sure if he's ready to yeah. take that on right now. That's a lot. It's a lot of it's time. A lot. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot mentally, to yeah. be honest. So I think I think if once he get the farm to the point where he can operate, be self sufficient, mm -hmm. where his workers are doing their thing, and he can kind of leave, I think it'll be the perfect timing for him to do that. But he ain't in the position yet yeah. to be able to do that. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so over there we see Michael because last week we saw what he had created the hashtag. So we knew that he was gonna do some type of movement, um, trying to combat this new prison. Yeah. So he ended up doing this campaign called um, No New Prison. No New Prison. Um, they yeah. they did a um, a meetup where he was supposed to be giving instructions and pamphlets and everything. It was kind of like a workshop. Yeah. And getting geared out to go out to the streets. So at one point, he was supposed to have been speaking to the crowd, giving them the instructions and explaining, you know, what the material was all about. But as he was speaking, these disrespectful motherfuckers. Uh-huh. They still talking, including his Aunt Vi and Hollywood were talking too. I said, what? This this what we gonna do? Y'all see the boy up there? He timid. This is first yeah. event. And y'all being disrespectful yep. as Mike B was That's how people do that's how people do you, man. So his mama saw that he was struggling. She steps up. But why is she might and Michael wasn't? Yeah. So she gives the instruction. You can see that Michael was kind of, you know, taken aback by it. He was in his feelings like, okay, here she come again, saving mm -hmm. the day and whatnot. I got this, mom. Yeah. And then 
his friends didn't even show up. Okay, so now it's your turn to lead an event. And you've been backing in with them boots getting burned down, Skip. Yep. And then they didn't even show up. Which I knew they weren't going to come. But that was a yeah. really good lesson for him. Yeah. And Nova even told him, said, sometimes a leader has to stand, stand alone. alone. So, yeah. you know, this is this is good. Let's, that let's actually, do it. That actually really show you how passion, passionate about what you're getting ready to try to accomplish. True. Because if you're really, if you're really passionate about it, you don't care if one, two, three, or zero people show up. You're going to show up and do what's in your heart to do. Mm-hmm. So fast forward into the rally. Ooh, I'm ashing. Fast forward into the rally. He's out there and they have a, a decent crowd. Then I see oh, both, a good crowd. I see both two, three white folk sprinkling in and everything. Uh -huh. And he's giving a really touching testimony. It ain't a story. This is testimony. And he's basically talking about how he's bleeding on the inside. He's had an incident where a cop, y'all know him. Yeah. Put a gun in his mouth and pulled the trigger. And he felt that he can get away with it because he felt like his life was way more valuable than mine. Mm -hmm. And Michael was like, what you're going to do is basically he, he summed up the whole, if you build it, they will come. Yeah. He summed that all up. It was like, y'all build this prison. It will get filled. Yeah. They're going to make sure it gets Legit filled. Legit yeah. or not. Y'all yeah. going to fill this up because a prison is anything but brick and mortar without the souls that you're about to put in it. Exactly. And if you do it here, that's going to show everything that's wrong. Yeah, with America, and not anything that's right about it. That's right. So now that he don't put the cop's name out there, more people starting to come forward. Yeah, and saying, "Oh, this cop did that this to me too." Made me, yep. you know, kind of like the Me Too movement. Once one person get exposed, and everybody, mm -hmm. you know, I don't really agree with that method, but sometimes it works. It is yeah. what it is. Yeah, because people um, scared. So. Yeah, so they'll jump on so. where they have the support at the moment. Yeah. But then sometimes that leaves opportunity for people to just be lying. But I'm glad that old Michael went viral, though. He got 300,000 views on YouTube. He made breaking news on NBC. But was he monetized, though? I don't know if he was monetized. Was you monetized on I don't on know YouTube. if he was monetized, Did you though. get your good Google check, Michael? But I'm proud of him, though. I am, standing too. up, man. Even at the, his friends, they end up coming through, though, for him. Yeah, Kiki, Kiki showed up, yeah, though. Kiki showed up. She showed up so, first. So that's that's good. So I don't even know if his friends even know that that happened to him. I don't think I don't he ever. Know. I don't think he ever told him that, did he? Did he ever tell him that? I don't remember. I can't remember. But I didn't did even remember or realize that his family didn't know about it either. That's right. So when he revealed right. that, Aunt Vi was like, "Huh? What?" And Ralph what? Andrew was like, "What the? When? When, when did this? What?" So. Now they're realizing that this boy done been through some skits since he been down here in the country. Yeah. Huh? So, um, even after they had the rally and everything and, you know, he started trending, going viral or whatnot, even Michael realized that even with all of this, this prison probably will still go yeah. up. Mm -hmm. Um, and like my husband was saying, I was like, it's not good enough for it just to be us out there rallying. Yeah. You need to get... You need to get some some white folks, some mm -hmm. Indian folks, some Chinese folks, some Japanese folks of all different walks of life to come out there to support. Yeah. But you can tell you who I wish would come back, and I'm pretty sure he'd have heard about it, and they may have to change the story. Officer Calvin should come on yeah, back and support the cause, man. Yeah. Because he be one of the good though. ones. Yeah, Officer Calvin should come back and support the cause, because I'm pretty sure he got some other cats that's just like him. Yeah. Yeah. So, Cause, cause, let me see. There's one more thing right here. Cause, you, right on cause here. you can see that when Michael was talking about that officer, that the other officer that was present, he felt so uncomfortable. And yeah. I said, I'm so yeah. glad. But I don't need you to just be uncomfortable. I Do need something. you to help me to make change and don't get this prison come right here. We were talking about this at work, rabbit hole. But on bum bum. And <laughs> <laughs> the only way this police brutality skit is going to stop, you gonna have to start hitting their pockets. Yeah. Every time you draw your gun, your pension may be on the line. Yeah. All that money that you have in the 401k that we fund needs to be on the line. That's right. That will actually teach you all to stop doing what the heck you're doing and think about because there is no consequence in paid leave. Nah. -uh. Matter of fact, how many of us would like to just take paid leave right now? Yeah. You go to work tomorrow and you take one of them good computers and, just <laughs> and take it home and you get caught. And they say, you know what? We're going to give you paid leave. Until we investigate. Exactly. But there's nothing that's going to be done. This is all because we have to go through the paperwork. Mm-hmm. But you know that ain't going to happen. They're going to fire your tail. 
You gone. No pain. So why this? Why? why? Okay. But anywho, so we see Unva. Unva is sitting down with Mr. Rollins, and he's pitching to her different um, locations where she can actually open up her pie shop. Cool. She wasn't. She didn't seem excited enough to me, but it's cool. Um, she knows so, Unva. Yeah. So every location that he, you know, presented, she kind of looked overwhelmed. And he was like concerned. He said, you know, thank you for sharing that you had a hospital visit and whatnot. So if I'm going too fast for you, you let me know. Mm -hmm. She was like, no, but it is, you know, it's taking me aback. You know, I'm like, girl, get, get excited about this thing. <laughs> and he said, I have one more option that I think will make you feel right at home. And I said, Mr. Robbins, what you about to do? Yeah, what are you going to be at? I thought what he was going to do, he going to do a U-Crops. He gonna make her go in the back and bake the freaking pies at the goddamn grocery store. That's yeah. what I thought. But he yeah. said, you sitting in it. They were sitting in the high yellow. Mm -hmm. He said, I know that you will be comfortable here. So she started reflecting and looking back on when she first got there. And Clive gave her a hard time. And how she worked her way up the ranks. Because yeah. Clive get ready to retire. So Mr. Rollins could buy the all on the high yellow for her. Yep, and give so, it right on to her to run. So I'm quite sure that she been, she was running before she left. Cause he the only way she left cause she he was getting on her nerves. Exactly. So now she about ready to own the place. That's powerful though. It is powerful. She said she's been working there 20 plus years. She started when she was falling. And she said I had to fight two for nail to become the manager. And he said, well, now you bought you all this can be yours. <laughs> if the price is right. <laughs> yeah, all this can be yours. That's a that's a you message. ain't never too old. Yeah, that that's yes. some of us. Where well, you working at right now? You could own you it could one own day. It. You could own hey, it one day. Hey, All hey, things hey. are possible. Hmm. To Mr. Rollins <laughs> <laughs> in Hollywood and Strip. <laughs> so then we see Blue. Blue shady, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Um, Dollar didn't get on my nerves this episode, and Ralph Angel and Dollar are actually co-parenting. Yay. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. So, Blue went over there and told his mama about Trin and uh -huh. how she be teaching him about fish and all this good stuff. <laughs> Got him so excited about fish that he done told his mama to go purchase this. I think it was like a building type of um game or maybe something sci-fi. I don't even know. Mm. But... Now he wants his mom and dad, like y'all said last week, he manipulated his mom and dad to help build this thing. But I said, Blue, you so shady. Yeah, yeah. You got the idea and the inspiration from Trend. Told your mama all about Trend being a nice girl and all that good stuff. And then you get your mama to buy you something. Then you're going to put all that to skit together. You know what good for? He he pulled the same crackhead move on her that he be, <laughs> she be pulling on everybody else. <laughs> good. <laughs> oh, my God. So, did y'all see Dollar getting in her feelings? Yeah, she did. When Ralph Angel was like trans, she she different, man. She When I'm with her, man, I see the world through a whole oh, not lens. lens. I see more than more out it's there. More out there. She was like, like, he said, but you know what? We ain't together no more. Then, that, said, then that frown turned into a smile. I said, I said, there we go. Yeah, but then, get she back gonna, together. then she gonna talk about, I, I just want you to be happy. With yeah. her? Yeah. Until he said he was going to be, until what he said about Tran, and then when he turned it around, and all of a sudden, now you want him to be happy. But he, he shady because he shouldn't have never got up. He shouldn't have never threw that in Dollar face like that. Man, I see my... I mean, she started it, though. But he she, ain't had to go that far. But she was like, she was like, you know, Tran is a nice girl. She taught, you know, taught Blue about the fish and all that stuff. And this all and he, so he was, thank you. So he added on to it. That was shady. Real shady. <laughs> uh, he <laughs> trying to help her grow. Whatever. So then we see Charlie and Romero. I said, what is going on here? That wine glass was a little down, so I understand. They got the dancing and talking and reminiscing. I think they're going to be a real cute couple at some point. But anyway, moving forward with Charlie. Charlie went over there and met with Mama Boudreaux again. I said, well, where, where, where Jacob at? Where he yeah. at? Ever since they don't got hooked up, Jacob is gone. Gone. I ain't seen him. Well, she was like, okay, our plan didn't work. We need to go back to the drawing board. Where's the books? I know he's been cooking books somewhere. Mom Brujo said, there's no books. But if there were books, um, this, that, and the third. Basically, Mom Brujo said, I can make some things happen. But I need to be promised that I'm going to be taking over. I need to take over. And this she told Charlie. She said, but in order to do so, I'm going to need your shares. Charlie said, hold on, what? <laughs> And she started talking about the common interest and how it's going to look. Da, da, da. So she spun it all down and it, it was. It made sense. It made sense. Mm -hmm. But Charlie said, I'll give you 1%. And 
And Mama Bridget will say, okay, well, what you want for that 1%? She said, I want the farmers back in their homes yep. with fair rates. And I want Queen Sugar Mill back. I want that. That belongs to my family. The name yeah. stays home. Yep, that belongs to the borderline. My Mama Brujo said, uh, I'm, I'm going to need, need more. more. Yeah, I'm going to need more. 100%. <laughs> and Charlie was like, and I'm going to need some more too. I said, okay, so now we trying this again. And I said, she's still fucking with Mama Brujo though. Yeah. I, I, evidently, she passed Charlie's test. Cause I don't know. I, I don't know. We be doubting Charlie, but she be coming through though, man. She take more losses yeah, than she take she wins. Do. But she still, but that's, that's a good testament that she willing to be responsible for other people's lives regardless if she lose or win. Because she want to make people's lives better. I don't know. I don't like that. Sometimes you got to say fuck them people. Sometimes. I don't like that. I always want to make, make a difference. I life. do too. That's why we do this channel right here, man. Yeah, because we, we do this channel like this half of the time. Half time, you don't feel like doing it, but it's good to come out, give y'all a positive environment to come to, give you a little bit of wisdom, give you a good chuckle for the day. Because it's hard out here in these streets, man. For a pimp. Yeah, it's hard out here, but this is a safe place. That's why we don't play people getting in the comments and, and saying what they want to say and, and coming at people in a kind of way. This is a safe place, man. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody needs one. You know how we used to go to your big mama house? and You, you know just, what? That's we, how it is. Hey, we're going to call, gonna call this Charlie's place, man. She always get here. This is my place. You know what I'm saying? That spirit of Charlie, man. It's nah, here. I don't want that. Uh, no, we want we want the spirit of Charlie of, of making a difference in the lives of people. Like I said, sometimes you gotta say buck them people. <laughs> like them farmers did to her last week, buck. But them. but what if what if Michael Max and and, and 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 Martin Luther King Jr. and and you know all of them said that said buck people? Who would be today? They would have been within their black right. <laughs> but they decided to make a difference. That's who Michael was today. Michael X. Mm -hmm. That was Michael he off, X. He off to a good start, man. He really is. Yep. I was proud of Michael. And he... He said, take responsibility. Stood up in. Has fear. Flat footed. Mm -hmm. Took his power back. But y'all watch him. Y'all watch him. Because y'all know people try to mess with people when they start yeah, telling their truth. But his mama said to him something powerful. He was like, you know, I really still really didn't do it. I just, I just told the truth. And she said, Michael, it was that easy. Yeah. Everybody would do it. I said, God. That's powerful. That's the truth. That's the truth. So then we're gonna close up the scene with and my DVR cut off, so I don't know what happened after this. I'm glad it cut off. But I'm man. glad because I was I was like a half a second away from man. losing it. Yeah. Uh Prosper, because y'all know last week he called his daughter and said it's time, time to come. Come pick me up. I said, oh now after you done ate up her Wheaties, her <laughs> Cheerios, her um, one percent milk. Ran up her electric bill. Watching westerns. Uh -huh. Now you want to go because you you feel like she's some kind of traitor. And like James said, I ain't even even put two and two together. Them motherfuckers wouldn't even sit with Charlie nope. over there at the goddamn vote. After all that she done did for y'all, I said James, she's so sure enough right. Mm -hmm. I said that's what these black MS would do. Yeah, turn their back on you as soon as they get an opportunity. Say they just like a like a goddamn pit bull. Well, I said okay. Prosper's daughter's finally on the way. Come get him, okay. When he started leaving, I said, well, I ain't seen no daughter yet. Yeah. So I was still confused about what was happening here. So he was Charlie, confused too. So Charlie ends up walking him down somewhere, somewhere wooded. And I said, ooh, I think I know where this is going. I said, Charlie, you move quick on this uh -huh. one. Uh-huh. And he was like, Charlie, what's going on? Ooh, we've got something. We got something. We've got something here. She presented him with some papers and she said, this is the deed. This is the deed to your home and your land. You belong here with us. Yeah. You are not going anywhere. You're going to be right here in St. Joe. And he was like, wait, 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 I, I can't, I, I can't, I can't. Oh, uh, yes, you can. Yes, you can. And he took that, he was like, thank you, Charlie. And they both broke down and he just started, hey, I mean, when I say he came with the acting tonight. Yes, he did, Prosper had the shaking face and he was all broke up. And yeah. if y'all know anything about me, I can't see a man cry. I lose it. I said, Mr. Prosper, if you drop... Yeah. And he was, one ready, he was getting ready to do one of them ugly cries too, but I'm sitting up there like this. I said, and they gonna DVR cut off. So that's all I got for you. I don't know what happened. I mean, but, after just that. Think, but just think what was going through his head though. That he would have to go and live with his daughter after him working hard for that place all the many years. And take that's why I said this is Charlie's place. Charlie came along and she got a win tonight, y'all. She did. She that's got a, a win. That's a big win right there. 
Got that main house back. I don't know how many years he been there. But but here's the blessing of it all. <clears throat> Technically, the house was never his because he was leasing it this whole time. That's right. She got the deed now. Yep. Mm -hmm. Come on here. So put it back Ooh. so he don't have to start over, man. Nope. Matter of fact, he can become greater because that man is full of wisdom. They need yes. him. Yes. They need him. And I said, look at Charlie taking care of daddy number two. Yep. Where she couldn't do it for daddy but number one. But you know one. what? He took care of what he, did? he took care of my daddy. So I'm gonna take care of him. Reciprocity. Where's the black families at, man? Yeah. Come on now. Reciprocity. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla.